How's it going guys? And welcome back to another episode of Man Like Murray. And in today's episode we'll be trying to qualify for the Foot Champions Weekend League. Now I played a lot of games in the recording for this episode and it would be too many to show you in one video. So for every game I will just show you the score except for any of the finals I get to. That's if I get to any finals. Now in our first attempt at trying to qualify for the Foot Champions Weekend League, we win our first game 3-2, we win our second game 4-3, and then unfortunately in our third match, the semi-final, we pick up a 2-1 loss. Then in attempt number 2, we win our first game 1-0, we win our second game 2-0, and we win our third game 3-1. And you know what that means, we're in the final. And now we move on into the final, and we see my opponent has a good Premier League side with the inform Andre Gray. And we would in fact take the lead as the ball's bobbling around the edge of the box. Knockhart manages to play the ball into Murray and as he always does he slots it away into the back of the net with an excellent finish, giving us a 1-0 lead in the final and taking us one step closer to the Foot Champions Weekend League. Although my opponent had a response almost straight away as he played the ball through to Andre Gray who levelled things up in the 44th minute, making it one all. Uh, my opponent would in fact take the lead in the 51st minute, as Lukaku slots the ball away well. But as always in this series, we had an answer, and Sanson plays the ball across to Costa, who levels things up not long after my opponent scored, in the 59th minute in fact, and gets us right back in the game. Now unfortunately from the kickoff, my opponent passes the ball to Ander Herrera, who finds the bottom corner with an excellent long shot, and my keeper couldn't have done anything about that. And this guy takes a 3-2 lead. And to wrap things up, in the 67th minute, my opponent plays the ball to Renato Sanchez, who kills the game off, making it 4-2. And unfortunately, we would not qualify for foot champions on this attempt. At this point, I decided to put that final loss behind us and move on to attempt number three. And in game number one, we picked up a 1-0 win but unfortunately in the quarterfinals we lost 3-2 and had to try again. And on my fourth attempt, I won game number one yet again, but this time it was a 3-2 win. And unfortunately we go out in the quarterfinals yet again with a 4-1 loss in a game that I got dominated in. In my fifth attempt, we actually went out in the first round as we lost 4-3 to a very good side. And in attempt number 6, we lost in the first round again, 2-1. And although the teams had been playing good, and Murray had picked up 9 goals over these games, it was at this point I decided I'd had enough, I'd give it a break, and have a go next week. One week later. We now move on to the next week of Foot Champions qualification, and see that the requirements are, you have to have a 3.5 star team or below. And I thought excellent, because Glenn Murray was a silver player, so he would help to bring down the rating. And the way we tackled this requirement was by making a few tweaks to the English side and bringing back some old faces who've been excellent in the series so far. And one of those is Leadbitter in the right back position. And in the centre back positions, we use Connor Goldson and Lewis Dunk, the Brighton duo. In the left back position, we use Dickinson who's got good pace and very well-rounded stats for a left back, so I reckon he'll do a good job. And in the centre mid positions, we use Ryan Leonard, who has lots of pace, and Sinclair, who was excellent for us earlier in the series. And I believe this team will play amazing, as I know all these players are top quality and will outperform their overalls. Oh, and also we have Sturridge up top with Murray to add some extra pace. Now going into the first game we come up against a very low chemistry side and Daniel Sturridge gives us the lead with a volley on his right foot which is quite surprising although he's got very high finishing so you'd expect him to put the ball in the back of the net every time even on his weak foot and that's what he did there. We'd then double our lead as we whip a corner into Glenn Murray who gets a glancing head across goal putting us 2-0 up inside 15 minutes and pretty much putting this game to bed before it had already began. And it was at this point that my opponent decided he wanted to rage quit 
as he thought there was no way back into the game. Now as we go into game number two, we come up against a very low chemistry team with a load of bronze players, so I knew this game would be easy. And our first goal came as Daniel Sturridge whipped a ball into the box, which fell to Ross Barkley, who hit the shot on the turn, low with lots of power under the goalkeeper, giving us a 1-0 lead. And this guy's team was awful, I don't know how he'd got to the second round. He had loads of bronze players, they were all out of position, and they were all off of chemistry. And we would go 2-0 up in this game as the ball falls to Glenn Murray on the edge of the box, and he strikes the ball with loads of power on his left boot, so much so that it beats the goalkeeper, and Glenn Murray proves that his 3-star weak foot is a lie, because it feels like 5-star weak foot in-game. And with shots like that, you can't argue with that logic. They, you would never guess a player with three-star weak foot would have that sort of ability on their weaker foot. We then further our lead even more as Daniel Sturridge slots the ball past the goalkeeper in the 26th minute, making it 3-0. And this game was has been long over. This guy stood no chance, and I was highly surprised by the difference in quality of opponents in this tournament compared to last week's one. We then go 4-0 up as the ball falls to Sinclair and at this point my opponent decided he'd had enough because he'd just been scored on by a bronze player and that's embarrassing for anyone who's got a team with gold players in it. And as I said my opponent decided he'd had enough, we were 4-0 up inside 35 minutes and DJ Moon decided to leave the game. Now we go into our semi-final, and this is definitely the hardest game we've had so far. Although Daniel Sturridge was having none of it, as he broke through on goal early on, giving us a 1-0 lead. And Daniel Sturridge has been excellent in this team for us so far, and I may even consider taking him, in, him into weekend league if we qualify for it. Sturridge then doubles our lead in the 62nd minute, and this guy had been a tough opponent until this point. But Sturridge is one of those strikers that when you get him through on goal, he'll always put the ball away because he seems to have impeccable finishing on his left foot. But we weren't done there. We did another one of our trademark Glen Murray corners where we whip it into the front post and he does a glancing head across goal. And if you can perfect that, your opponent can't do anything about it. Even if they put a guy on front post, Glenn Murray's jumping is so good, he's never challenged in the air. And that's how it ended. On our first attempt of this new tournament, we go into the final, and we come up against a very dangerous looking side, where he has the SBC Lacazette and the SBC Fekir, and he would in fact take the lead as SBC Fekir goes through on goal, and slots it past our goalkeeper just after half time, and at this point my opponent had been on top massively, and I wasn't expecting to get a result. Although we always have a response in this series, and Sturridge wins as a corner not long after he scored, and I knew exactly what we were doing here. We were going to do the trademark corner into front post, and somehow we get lucky enough for it to bobble its way into the back of the net, as there's confusion between the guy on the line and the goalkeeper, and we level things up inside 68 minutes, and put ourselves right back in this final, and take ourselves one step closer to weekend league. Now the next goal would come in in extra time as the ball's played to Glenn Murray. He uses his blistering pace to beat the defenders and slots the ball into the back of the net on his left foot yet again with an excellent finish right in the bottom corner just where the goalkeeper couldn't reach it. And we take the lead for the first time in this match. And at this point things were looking positive because we were having more chances than our opponent and we'd just taken the lead. But we weren't done there. Sturridge goes through on goal late on and forces a good save out of the goalkeeper. And guess what? We win another corner. And you'll never guess what happens from here. We do the same thing again, drilling it into near post. And this time it comes off his defender's head and beats the goalkeeper, putting us 3-1 up in the 117th minute and confirming our spot in the Foot Champions Weekend League for this weekend. And... I was so excited at this point because I never thought I'd get into foot champions with Glenn Murray. 
So it was just a great achievement for the side and just seeing how far this club's gone in such a short period of time is amazing. And as this guy takes a free kick from his own half in the 120th minute, the referee blows the full time whistle confirming that we will be in the weekend league this weekend and before then I'll probably play a few more matches to build up some coins and I'll show you guys the highlights of them at the start of the first foot champions episode but there's the message confirming it. Congratulations for qualifying for the foot champions weekend league and I'm sure this will bring a lot of coins to the club which will help us progress all the way to division one. And that's where I'm going to end it. I want to thank you guys for watching Please like, comment and subscribe for more Man Like Murray on my channel and I will see you guys in the Weekend League.